When you first learn to paint at school, you start with a white piece of paper. Any inks or paints you add make the paper darker. If you combine two inks, it makes it darker still. So cyan and magenta makes blue. If you add cyan and yellow, you get green. Magenta and yellow, you get red. And if you add all three, you get black. Actually, when you print it, you don't quite get black, you get a rather murky brown. And that's why the cyan, magenta and yellow colour scheme always has black added when it's printed. I like to think of it as the world's first dyslexic acronym. Pixels on screen, however, work exactly the opposite way around. You start with black, and any colours that you add make it brighter. If you add red and green, you get yellow. If you add blue and green, you get cyan. If you add blue and red, you get magenta. And if you add all three, then you do in fact get white. So on screen, RGB, red, green and blue, is all the colours that you need. Where cyan, the magenta and yellow intersect, you get red, green and blue. Where red, green and blue intersect, you get cyan, magenta and yellow. The trouble is not all the colours you can get with RGB can be printed with CMYK. Before you print an image that looks bright and dazzling on screen, always check how it's going to look when it's in CMYK. Turning on gamut warning mode will show you all the colours in grey that simply can't be printed as they appear on screen.